Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's Wix tutorial video. Today, we're going to talk about how to add a profile page on your Wix website. There are two things we'd like to talk about today, and that is to, number one, add a basic profile page section on your website, and number two, add a member's profile page where users can sign up and have their own profile page. And with that said, let's get started. Number one, let's talk about the first one first, and that is to add a basic profile page section on your website. So first, you're going to go to the Pages and Menu button on the sidebar. Click on Site Menu or select Site Menu, and then click on Add a New Page, this button. A window will pop up. And, okay, here we're starting to see the options and we can either add a blank page or we can add template pages that we can select from right over here. They have different templates for different types of pages such as about page, services page, and so on and so forth. Since we're making a profile page, we're going to find some under the About category, and I think we're already here. And here we have a profile template. So we are going to click on it and click on Add Page. So yeah, no worries because we're actually going to be able to customize it however we want to. Okay, by the way, we're going to rename our page here. We're going to call it... Um, profile page, just a very basic name. So we're going to rename it before we start customizing it. Okay. To position your photo to the right, click on it, then click on Manage Columns right over here. And then click on the um, Move Right button if you want to move it to the right. You can move it back to the left if you're okay with the um, previous position of your photo. And if you like, you can also add another column by clicking on Add Column right over here. We're going to close that now. And to change the content on the strip, click on your strip and go to the toolbar that'll appear on the right side, so this one right over here. Click on the Explore Section Layouts, this one. And then go to content and here you'll be able to change your section background, strip background, column background, edit your title, edit your paragraph, and even insert social links to um, this part right here. You can click on set links to set your social media links according to the icons that you have here. So we're going to close this one now. And basically, that's how you edit your or customize your profile page, your basic profile page. Before publishing, make sure to edit how things would look like on mobile devices. Switch to mobile view by clicking on this mobile phone button right over here. So this is going to be your mobile view. Rearrange your elements here to make them look good on mobile. This is actually really important since a lot of users also use their phones to browse on the internet. So optimizing your website for mobile view is a really important thing to do. And you don't have to worry about anything because rearranging your elements here will not affect the placement of the same elements on your desktop view. So your desktop view will remain intact. And basically, that's it. Now let's talk about the second one, and that is to, number two, add a member's profile page where users can sign up or sign in and have their very own profile pages. First, go to the Apps button on the sidebar right over here. So we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to type, um, type in sign up. Or you can click, uh, or I mean type member, and then 
From the drop down, you're going to select Wix Members Area. Check out its description and reviews first, and once you're okay with it, then you can click on Add to Site. It will install on your site, so it's going to take a bit of time, especially if it's your first time using it. Okay, and as you can see, we now have a sign up bar right over here. And we now are in our um, profile page. So you can see that by going to the pages and menu section on your sidebar. And now you have the sign up and login pages and the members area. So the uh, my account page right here is where people or your users, your website users will be able to see their profiles on your website. So we're going to talk about our login bar first. To customize its content, click on it and click on set up login bar. And this window will appear right over here. So here are the things that you can do. You can select the layout, choose whatever you want to say um, before people log in and choose the logout message as well. You can also customize your member sign up settings over here. And you can also manage site members by clicking this button and it'll route you to that window. To customize its appearance, you're going to click on it again. And this time you're going to click on the design or the paintbrush button. And here you can change how you'd like your login bar to appear. You can change its fill color and opacity, borders, corners, shadows, and texts. You can even change its appearance when it's regular, when it's hovered over, or when it's selected. So just tweak those things according to your preferences. We're going to close this now, and we're going to move on to our profile page now. By the way, you can switch pages by clicking the, um, this button over here, and you can select the page where you want to um, make changes to. So I'd like to make changes to my user's profile page. So that's going to be under the members area and it's called my account. And in order to customize it, we're going to um, click on our my account section, which is this one. And then we're going to click on manage fields. A new window will appear. We're going to wait for it to load up. Okay, so here are the fields that are going to show up on your member's profile. But if you would like to add more fields, then you can click on this Add More Fields button. And you can choose whatever it is you'd like to add. You have preset ones here, but you can also add your very own custom fields by clicking on this Add Custom Field button. And once you're done, you can exit this window. So we're going to exit this now. So preview your website. We're going to do that by clicking this button right over here. And so this is the preview mode. Check if you're happy with your website and make changes to it if you think you need to. We're going to go back to the editor now. And just as we talked about earlier, it's really important to optimize your website for mobile users. So once again, click on the um, mobile icon here or, or the phone icon to rearrange your elements for mobile users. So properly position and rearrange your user's profile on mobile view. Once again, no worries, rearranging your elements will not affect your elements placement on the desktop mode. And once everything's all set, you can finally publish your site. So go ahead and click on the publish button on the upper right. And there you have it. We hope you found our video today of help somehow. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We're a new channel, so please help us grow by sharing and liking our videos. If you want to see more Wix tutorials from us, then please consider subscribing as well.
Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You guys have a great day.